Hi, I'm Cynthia Diane Haney, the spindle maker uh, of the Cynthia Wood Spinner brand. I design and make all my drop spindles, including making my own custom spindle hooks. And the reason I'm doing today's video is to have a chance to talk specifically about the hook on a drop spindle, also known as a suspended spindle, and when that hook can be causing you problems and when to know, oh, it's not the hook causing any problems uh, and what to do about it. Uh, so with regards to hooks, let's start at the basics with spindle parts. This is a top whorl drop spindle in that the whorl is at the top of the shaft shaft being where the yarn's going to get stored as you're making it. It has a hook for hanging from the yarn as it's spinning. And some spindles, because this information applies not just to the spindles I make, but to any spindle with a hook. Uh, some spindles have a notch behind the hook that you can use to guide the yarn to the hook. Some spindles don't. That's not essential for this uh, video. But the idea being that the spindle is going to hang from that yarn you're making by the hook, whether it's this top whorl style or the other style in that the whorl being at the bottom of the shaft. Even some people have spindles that are Turkish with crossed arms that happen to have a hook. This applies to all of those. But if your hook is out of alignment, it will end up causing the spindle not to hang plumb from that yarn you're making. And that's when you get into wobble and problems and you're just not getting the best experience out of your spindle it can provide because it just needs a little TLC. So to show you what an unhappy hook looks like, because I can't stand to leave one of my spindles actually unhappy enough for it to uh, make a, a good show on video. And because I just drew some real simple end of a spindle shaft here, uh, sketches with a, a simple hook sketch to give you an idea. If your hook is off to one side or another, front or back, or a bit of both, uh, or even if your hook gets smushed to the point that it is closed and not an open hook anymore, all of those are signs that your spindle has some serious trouble and needs some TLC. So anytime your hook's looking seriously crooked, like those drawings, uh, you're gonna need to work on it. Other illustrations for you, are what it should look like, or the best I could sketch for you, because trying to draw this is not quite the same as making them. This one is a good illustration of what a hook probably should look like in that the top part of the curve of the hook is centered over the top of the spindle shaft, at least as best I could draw. Um, and I'll show you in a second what left right looks like. This one's close to in the right spot. It was supposed to be in the right spot, but I got a little misaligned with my drawing. The hook to the yarn is showing a very good placement of where the yarn's coming off the hook, but I didn't succeed at drawing the hook centered over the shaft. So this is a almost right, but not quite right potential situation. Not always a problem, but that's, that's where you're in a, things might not be quite right. And as far as left and right, when you're looking at the back of the spindle and that you're looking at the closed portion of the hook, uh, on real spindle, you want to be seeing a straight line coming uh, straight up out of the top of the spindle shaft. You do not want to see that closed view being off to either side, uh, even though you're not seeing the open part of the hook in that perspective, you, you still want it to be coming straight off the spindle shaft. So those are just a couple little drawings to help with understanding what's going on. Then to know, well, is it me or is it the spindle? Because there are times of uh, the spindle is going to indicate the hook's wrong or other things when it's wobbling. And the spindle indicates everything's perfect when the spindle's just hanging there in a beautiful, smooth spin, uh, particularly noticeable at the end of the spindle shaft as you're uh, spinning on it. So I'm going to set this one in motion, and it's close to right. I kind of bumped it out of orientation as I was working with it. Uh, and depending on how you set your spindle into motion, you can release it from your flick or your thigh roll in a wobbly manner and get it starting wobbly even if it could spin well. There are also times when it should wobble. That wild wobble 
is a good thing. That's telling you the spindle's slowing down. So wild wobble as it slows down is nothing wrong with the spindle. It's just the spindle's way of telling you, hey, by the way, I'm slowing down. You want to catch me and do something about it before I start spinning the wrong direction. So that wobble at the end is perfectly normal and not what we're worried about today. Wobbles at the beginning or near the beginning when the spindle is still spinning at a nice rate of speed is more what we're talking about. So I'm going to try for a smooth start. And as you see, I'm getting a little wobble from the beginning. Now, some of that's me and some of that's because I got my hook a little bumped out of alignment as I was tuning things up for us today, and I'll be fixing that. But taking a look, okay, we know we have a bit of a wobble. And if it's persistent and wobbling like that over several starts and you're pretty sure you're drafting smoothly and you didn't throw it off to the side as you got it mo moving, it's time to take a look at things. And looking at this one, I'm looking at it um, square on uh, so that you're seeing the open part of the hook. The left, right, as in to one elbow or the other of mine, uh, orientation is close to perpendicular, coming nice off the top of the spinner, spindle's shaft. But the yarn leader right now is just a little bit further back towards uh, where it came up around the whorl than ideal. Looking at it left and right, it's harder to see with the yarn there, so I'll pull the yarn down. As you see, it's pretty close to plumb, so I'm not worried about that. But I do think that it needs to come forward just a little bit. And for my spindle hooks, they are made out of either copper or bronze. Uh, copper for a little over the first 200 hooks. Uh, some are sterling silver, mind you. Uh, but mostly copper. I've switched to bronze for the more recent... Uh, 100 plus getting close to 200 spindles uh, because bronze is just a little bit stiffer. And the reason I choose these metals is because if the worst thing happens and you drop the spindle and you smash it down as it lands on the hook, I'd far rather that hook bend than the top of the spindle shaft break or split. For the same reason, if you're um, handling your spindle funny, some people empty their spindles and beat up the hook on a surface, don't, don't empty your spindle in that manner. It's hard on the hook and it's not good for keeping the twist in your yarn. And commonly, if the spindle's packed in a bag and it gets smooshed badly, either coming in or coming out, sometimes the hook can get mangled a little bit and you weren't even spinning with the spindle and didn't realize it. So uh, bins happen and my spindles, the wonderful thing is all you need to readjust the spindle is the same hand you're using to spin with it. So I just take my thumb and to get this slightly more uh, centered over the top of the shaft, I'm just going to give it a gentle nudge and I'm holding down at the shaft with the rest of my hand forward with the thumb, just a gentle little nudge. And that's all it takes. Now, some spindle makers will use a cup hook uh, or a uh, stainless steel uh, material for their hooks. And in that case, you might end up needing a pair of pliers to achieve the same purpose. So now we're going to go in motion again. And how quickly you get your hands back to the drafting after setting the spindle in motion can have an effect on any wobble too, because if you're slow to start drafting, the twist doesn't have anywhere to go, and it can make the spindle look wobbly when there might not be anything wrong with it. So that looked a little bit better, but trying to spin beautiful study on camera can be a challenge. So we will see. And the real key is, does it settle down? And of course, as you draft, depending on how you're releasing that uh, yarn down as you make it, now you wouldn't be putting your arms over your head. I'm just trying to keep this birthing on camera for you. Um, if it's settling down before it slows down and spinning in a nice, smooth, plumb manner, you know you have it really right, whether or not you were wobbly as you set it in motion. If it doesn't ever settle down, that might be a clue that there's something wrong. Mainly, though, are you getting the best out of it? If you're losing a lot of momentum to a spindle wobbling, because when there's a real problem with hook, it's going to be a wild wobble the whole way. Um, it's a sign that, that you might need to do something about it. And in this case, I've got this closer to right. We're now getting the slow down wobble, um, but I don't have it quite to my idea of perfection. And I find sometimes if you're really trying to decide, is it me or is it the spindle, uh, a string can actually be more helpful than the current act of spinning. Normally I just keep spinning and looking at it and spinning and looking at it. And I get to the point where I'm in the occasional nudge and I'm happy with it. But sometimes to get the, the process kind of jump started, I will take a string. 
Um, you want to make sure if you're testing this with a string to use a string that's a thickness that's appropriate for the weight of the spindle. If you use a really thick string to a really lightweight spindle, you're not going to learn anything useful. This happens to be a piece of kite string. It's plied uh, already, which means that I can't mess up on my amount of twist in it. And so I just have the spindle hanging from the string and I'm going to set it in motion. And once it settles down from my initial motion, as you see, although I should not have picked a walnut shaft for this one because you've just not seen it well enough, it spun in a very nice plumb manner for the most part. And that's initial how the spindle spins when it's hanging just off the peak of the hook is great, but you only are there when you're making your initial leader. The rest of the time, the yarn will always be wound on the shaft of the spindle and coming up along the whirl to the hook which I will illustrate again with the string. So you really, it matters more once it's wound on the shaft than it does at that very first moment. But that very first moment is your first impression. Of course, I can't take a hand up to draft because there's nothing to draft. And we have a reasonably plumb is starting to wobble because I just didn't give that twist anywhere to go. And if you are checking on a string, make sure you stop and let the twist out of the string. Otherwise, you're not going to get any accurate information. Um, we are running against the I never spin as perfect on camera, particularly when I'm trying, as I do when I'm not thinking about it. And in that case, I set it in motion nicely, and then I bumped it against my hand, and we got a little wobbling that may or may not uh, settle out before we go. But that's giving you some idea, like I say, if you get those wilder wobbles and your hook looks funny, it might be a problem with your hook. Um, and I don't think I have enough people watching live to say if there are any questions, but please, uh, in the comments on the video afterwards, uh, let me know if you have any questions about maintaining your spindle hooks. And I really wanted to make sure to focus a video on getting that hook adjusted just right because so often I see a picture of someone's spindle, fortunately not usually mine, or I watch someone spinning across the room and when I see that picture and, and the hook is doing all kinds of wonky things, it's just not a happy spindle. Or I'm watching somebody spin across the room and I go, okay, you're enjoying my spindle, but something's not quite right. And I can just tell because they're not focusing on how it's spinning. They're just enjoying making yarn, but that wobble just, just bugs this perfectionist. So any spindle I send out the door, I always make sure I've fully tested and rechecked that hook. And I pack my spindles very carefully to protect the hook. So it doesn't get yanked out of alignment in the process of getting out of the package. But that is all about hooks. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. And I do, uh, continually do follow up uh, tech support for lack of a better uh, maintenance support maybe uh, on my spindles. So if you're ever having trouble with the hook on one of my spindles, please reach out and I will help you get it happy. Um, I've only had to uh, adjust myself a couple of hooks over the years, but I want to make sure there's nobody out there frustrated and just hasn't spoken up. So please speak up and have a wonderful day. Thank you.